For five years, the Strikers Bowling Alley rolled toward ever more profits. Then last year, things took a turn for the worse. As security in Afghanistan declined, economic growth that was surging as much as 11% a year dropped into oblivion. And so did profits from the Kabul elite who once lined up at this opulent gaming house and bistro. And thought it was good. It was something new for Afghanistan for the people. So the, they were coming and we were seeing it was growing day by day. But now last year it's declining and people are scared due to attacks and explosions. So they are not, they are like work, home, so that's they don't go out. They don't go out. Many investors in Afghanistan are hoping to strike it rich. But many end up disappointed. Now only the bravest and wealthiest sports enthusiasts venture out, and even they are nervous. Security in Afghanistan is not good. And uh, I came here for uh, some playing games, and unfortunately, I don't feel safe outside of there. A ferocious spring offensive by an emboldened Taliban has left many Afghans shaken in a nation where the official government controls less than 60% of its land. As thousands of foreign troops have withdrawn since 2014, foreign aid and construction has followed. If they prefer... Kubra okay, Tawasoli isn't waiting for security to improve. She and two fellow women investors wanted to create a place where women could feel safe in a dangerous land. This cafe is at least one thing we can do for Afghan ladies. We are trying to be brave. And uh, when we wanted to start our business, so many people told us, uh, please don't start this. It's not good for you. You are ladies. Maybe... It's, it will not be profitable for us. At least we did our try. At least we tried this. With more than one in three Afghans unemployed and about the same number living below the national poverty line, it could be months or years, if ever, before that bravery pays off. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Kabul.